Good afternoon. This is Michael Phelps. He's the most decorated Olympian of all times, with a total of 28 medals. He's what we call a through athlete. And the reason why he's so good at what he's doing is because every single day he tries to exceed his own limitations. This guy goes the extra mile. He swims 80 kilometers a week. He works out six hours a day, six days a week. He sits in ice baths. He has a personal trainer, he has a food coach. He even listens to music to further motivate himself. All of this to exceed his own human limitations. I have a quadriplegic son. My son cannot talk. My son cannot walk. My son cannot see. My son cannot even chew. But for me, he's a Michael Phelps in his own right, and I'll tell you why. So let me first take you a few years back. I started my career on Wall Street in 1997. I was a first-year analyst in the mergers and acquisitions department of Merrill Lynch in New York. I traveled the world. I worked around the clock seven days a week. I had the opportunity and privilege to work with some of the best-known dealmakers on Wall Street. I met my wife in 2000. We got married in 2005. And in 2009, we had beautiful twins, Nathaniel and Artemis. That was the most beautiful day of our lives. And then, all of a sudden, something would happen that would change our lives forever. I still remember, as if it were yesterday, it was a beautiful, sunny spring day. I had just come back from a trip to Belgium. I was so excited to see my wife and spend time with my newborn twins. On Saturday morning, we took the twins out for a walk, and we grabbed a coffee at a diner on the Upper West Side, just like every Saturday morning. We came back home. We had plans to go to a gala dinner that evening, and we had made reservations for a tennis court on Sunday morning. And all of a sudden, Nathaniel stopped breathing in his crib. That was the moment that life stood still. We ended up at the hospital, and 48 hours later, the doctors would tell us that Nathaniel had suffered massive brain damage, the equivalent of a drowning victim. Our world fell completely apart. Doctors told us that Nathaniel would never see, that he would never talk, that he would never walk. Basically, he would live like a vegetable for the rest of his life. All the dreams, hopes, and plans we had made for him were gone in one second. Going to college, having girlfriends, getting his first job, potentially following in the footsteps of his parents on Wall Street, getting married, having his own children, all of these things were taken away from us. But given who we were, we weren't going to give up on him and his future, and that's when started the journey to get him better. So I would like to tell you a story now about the man with no brain. This is the CT scan of a 44-year-old Frenchman. 90% of his brain is missing. As you can see in the picture, the dark matter are fluids, and what's remaining is the outer layer. 90% of his brain is missing, and yet he functions perfectly normally. The brain is such a complex organ which guides our movements, our speech, our vision, our thoughts, our consciousness, and yet this man is missing 90% of his brain, and he functions totally normally. He has an IQ of 75. He's married, he's got children, and he works as a postman. 
So how is that possible? Well, the reason is neuroplasticity, which means that the remaining parts of the brain are able to pick up the parts of the brain that are missing. And this is exactly what gave us so much hope for our son, and that was exactly the strategy that we were going to pursue. So the more we start looking, the more reason for hope we found. We actually discovered that there were a number of non-invasive, evidence-based technologies that can all hack the brain's innate ability to heal itself through the enhancement of neuroplasticity. The brain is not only a very sensitive and precious organ, but also a very adaptable one. So we searched the world in search of those technologies. We traveled from the US to Switzerland, from Austria to Israel, all the way to China. And we found evidence-based technologies, all of which would enhance the neuroplasticity of the brain, such as robotics, neurogaming, virtual reality, brain-computer interface, and neuromodulation. Neuromodulation, which is depicted on the left-hand side, is a non-invasive technique which allows to stimulate the brain through electrical or magnetic impulses. It primes the neurons to fire and enhances learning by up to 200% in one single session. In 2013, my wife took Nathaniel to a brain scientist in New York. He had agreed to try one single session on Nathaniel. And yet, on the way back home, in a taxi in Tribeca, Nathaniel spoke his first word ever. He said, hi. That, to us, was magic. It was amazing. We couldn't be happier. Research studies at MIT in Boston have shown that chronic stroke patients with severe hand impairments can actually improve by doing intense rehabilitation with the hand robot. As you can see on the left-hand side, at admission, a chronic stroke patient cannot draw the circle, and six weeks later, that person can draw an almost perfect circle. A more recent study in the US, which will be published later this year, combines neuromodulation and robotics for chronic stroke patients with severe arm impairments. The results of the study are phenomenal. Some patients have improved 18 points on the Fugel-Meyer scale, which basically means that the patients had their arm stuck to their side, unable to move, and after 36 sessions, in the course of three months, they're able to lift their arm above their head. So this is why my wife and I were convinced that if we were able to bring all these technologies together under one roof, that we could not only help our son, but also other children and adults with neurological disorders to help them exceed their own limitations. And that is the reason why we developed a new concept of neurorehabilitation called TRAINUM. TRAINUM stands for Technologies, Robotics, and Innovative Neuromodulation. At TRAINUM, in the center of Antwerp, in Belgium, we have brought together numerous robots for lower and upper extremities, more robots than any other center in the world. And we are combining this with non-invasive neuromodulation techniques and other evidence-based technologies, all of which hack the brain's innate ability to heal itself through the enhancement of neuroplasticity. Trainum today is the most innovative neurorehabilitation center in the world. We opened the Trainum Center on January 25th of this year, on a Wednesday. Why? 
because it was Nathaniel's eighth birthday. Doing this felt amazing because it was the first time in our lives that we were able to give Nathaniel a birthday gift. His name is a Hebrew name which means gift of God. And he still is the best thing that ever happened to us. But the Trainum concept, the Trainum story, is much more than that. It's also about giving back to other people. Today, at Trainum, we have people coming from all over the world, from, from Holland, from France, from Germany, from the UK, even Egypt, are coming to Trainum because they're getting better results than would be expected. Many of our patients are already having remarkable recoveries. Patients with low vision are reporting improved vision. An MS patient who had lost the use of her arms just felt herself a cracker for the first time in two years. Children with cerebral palsy are improving in rapid and unexpected ways. Every single day at Trainum, we have remarkable stories of recoveries in patient populations where no recovery would be expected. These are the people going the extra mile. This is why Nathaniel is just like Michael Phelps, because every single day he tries to exceed his own human limitations. We are here to help him, just as we're there to help all the other people with a neurological disorder to help them exceed their own limitations. Michael Phelps works out six days a week. He has a pool, he has a gym, he has personal trainers, he has a food coach, he has all the equipment necessary to help him exceed his own limitations. My son Nathaniel also works out six days a week. He has trained him, a neurophysical therapist, a speech therapist, a hand robot, a walking robot, and neuromodulation to help him exceed his own limitations. We are here to help all the children and adults with a neurological disorder to help them exceed their own limitations. Everybody deserves to be a Michael Phelps. Thank you.